Hi guys and welcome to Lizzie Dean Makes. I'm Lizzie Dean and this is the channel where we make, mend and grow our way to a big life on a small budget. Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be making unsponges for the kitchen. So um, I haven't actually been able to find very many videos at all on this on YouTube. There's two, neither of which are actually tutorials on how to make them. But um, I've seen them on Pinterest and on Etsy and I think they're a great answer for us. So these are what we used to use um, and this is the last one I believe of these. So um, when we have finished with this one we're going to need something else. Um, so this is a sponge with a scourer on the other side. So I started looking at um, biodegradable sponges and you can get cellulose sponges or natural sponges. Natural sponges are quite soft, so probably not ideal for scrubbing pots and pans. And the cellulose sponges, although they are probably quite ideal for that, uh, you can get cellulose sponge cloths and sponges in sort of blocks like this, but they all seem to come wrapped in plastic, which isn't something I want to do. So I started having a look around for reusable um, kitchen scrubbers, reusable sponges, all that sort of um, keywords on a lot of different platforms. And on Pinterest and Etsy, I kept coming across this unsponge, which um, goes with the unpaper towels that I made the other week, and is essentially um, you sew them out of fabric scraps. So I've got two big IKEA um, Calax drawer boxes here full of all my fabric stash so I've got my fabric stash I've also got um, a, a lot of my grandma's fabric stash that I inherited um, from her and uh, I keep all the scraps so I've got this sort of um, spaghetti like substance of um, off cuts uh, from bits of sewing that I've done and those scraps um, They've got a couple of different uh, uses that I, I tend to use them for, um, all in the sort of stuffing area. So you can stuff um, cuddly toys that you make with them. You can also get um, pillows like this with a zippable cover and um, you can just get the pillowcase cover and just shove all your fabric scraps in there and keep it bolstered up. So my mum used to do this with our dog hair um, from our golden retriever champagne when we were little kids and they had a big leather puff in the um, living room like a footstool thing that was big round um, and it had some sort of it, uh, pattern on it um, in leather working stamping or burning or I don't know what it was I can't picture it too clearly now but she used to brush the dog and take all the bits of hair off and stuff it into this puff um, to keep the puff fluffed up because obviously when you putting weight on these sorts of things they get compressed so um, that's another great use for them and then today I'm going to be using them to stuff my unsponges and because these are all um, sort of cotton based fabrics they are absorbent and so they will be able to um, absorb liquid and work as a sponge. The other thing that I'm going to be using is this fruit net so um, I bought some sweet clementines before Christmas because um, obviously we like fruit and um, you need some clementines or satsumas for uh, stockings for the uh, in-laws. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to cut it away from the rest of the plastic and be left with this um, sort of nylon netting. So rather than this going to landfill, which it would otherwise because it's not um, recyclable, I am going to use it to form the scrubbing part of my unsponge. So essentially what I've got, um, I've got um, some flannel, I've got some um, towel, so this is a um, cheap white hand towel. Uh, you can often get cheap white hand towels for about a pound um, and I use this a lot when I'm doing things for babies. Um, bibs, burp cloths, um, I, I use them on the um, baby changing bags that turn into mats that I sew um, and things like that. So um, I bought 
a couple of them and keep them in my fabric stash. So I'm going to be using some of that. I've also got cotton and bamboo quilt wadding um, and I use this for quilts but I always end up with odd little off cuts of it um, and that's obviously going to be super absorbent as well. And then I've got lots of these random bits of um, quilting fabric um, that are also cotton which I will be using as well. So I'm going to try and make them pretty because obviously they're going to be reused, stuck in the washing machine, got that out dried and reused in the house. So um, I've got this fabric that I used for my unpaper towels and I've got the equivalent one in yellow. And as I've said before, it looked like the Kath Kidston Provence Rose, so I bought it because that's what all my um, china wear and things are in my house. But when I got it, I don't think it really is because the pattern is a bit different um, to that. So I think it's probably a, a knockoff, but um, it does kind of go very well with the Kath Kidston stuff that I have. So um, I'm going to use uh, these two fabrics for the top and I'm going to use this um, toweling terry cloth um, and flannel for the bottom and the inside and I'm going to use this for the scourer pad part. So um, I'll get started. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got these squares of flannel left over from when I made the unpaper towels because I cut a few too many so uh, I've got four squares of this size and if I take this sponge if I fold this into quarters it turns out to be pretty much the same size as this sponge so this is the size that I'm going to pad the inside of my um, unsponges with so I folded up all four of those and made some little um, bits that are going to be the padding for the inside. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to sew up this side and sew up this side and then I'm going to have a little pouch and I will stuff that with um, more um, bits of, of cotton that I've got. So I'll have four sort of pads that will form the inside of four unsponges. Okay, so I've got four little pouches now that I can um, stuff with offcuts and scraps. So I'm going to go through my boxes and pick out loads of bits of scrap that I've got. So I'm going to try and stuff them quite evenly and quite full. Which is why I'm cutting this into smaller bits so I can shove it down into the corners and things. Um, once I'm happy with how stuffed it is, I'm just going to sew up the remaining side of the little pouch. I have got a little um, soft absorbent pad that's going to form the centre of my unsponge. So I'm just going to do that with the rest of these pouches as well. Okay, so I've got four um, little pads to go in the inside of my unsponges. So um, what I think I'm actually going to do is to quilt um, with some quilt batting and some of my top cotton, um, a square to be the top part of each of the little unsponges, um, and then do the nylon scrubber um, on the side with the uh, toweling uh, then it'll look nice on one side and the other side will be a um, soft scrubby so um, because this is um, quite soft this nylon netting I don't think it'll be a particular problem scrubbing our um, non-stick with it unlike a metal scourer or something um, so I think we can just use the one side of the unsponges for both jobs because to be honest we only tend to use this side the, the scouring side of our sponges we only hold on to the other side so um, that's what my plan is okay so I've got 
four squares of the top cotton and four squares of the batting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the two together and I'm going to do um, a sort of diagonal hatching across it. Okay, so I've got uh, a quilted top part. I'll do the rest of these later on. I won't make you watch me do everything. <laughs> So then I am going to cut a matching square from my piece of towel. Okay, so I now I've got a quilted top piece and a um, piece of towel to go on the bottom and I'm now going to cut my fruit net. So I've now got a strip of this nylon um, netting and I'm going to cut a piece to go over my toweling. So in order to lie these right side together I'm going to put my um, netting over my piece of towel and then I'm going to put the um, top of my quilted piece down over the top of that and I'm then going to sew round just leaving a little hole for me to stuff my um, pad in through. So that's um, now sewed around with just a little pocket to um, turn through and to stuff my pad in through. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reinforce all the edges of this with a zigzag stitch. So I've left a very wide um, seam allowance on all sides so that I've got some space to, to reinforce because this is going to have a lot of um, pulling and tugging on it when it's in use. So I want to make sure that the... Um, the seams are, are pretty solid so I'm just going to add a stitching of zig zigzags on the in the seam allowance so I'm now going to turn my unsponge inside out Now, if you were um, sewing a pouch and turning it inside out, normally you would chop the corners um, on the diagonal so that it would push out really um, pointy. But I actually want these to be super sort of strong, rigid parts of the unsponge so that you can uh, use it. So I'm actually not going to cut them. So I've now got um, a little... Um, quilted side and a towel side with a mesh overcoating and I'm then going to get one of my pouches and stuff that inside. Um, I'm then going to make sure that my edges are tucked in and I'm going to do a um, top stitch all the way around the edge um, just to seal this gap and give me as I said a nice um, sort of strong line of reinforcing on all the seams again because it is going to get a lot of um, wear and tear Okay, so there we have a little um, unsponge for the kitchen. So I'm going to make up the other four. These will then be um, used at the kitchen sink for um, washing any of the dishes that we don't put through the dishwasher. Um, we can put most things through our tiny dishwasher. There's only two of us, so we, we fill the dishwasher with everything because you don't want to put an empty load on. Um, but um, 
there are a few things like the giant wok that obviously just don't fit in the dishwasher and the wood chopping boards and things like that that um well they're bamboo but they shouldn't go through the washing machine either washing machine the dishwasher so we will scrub those by hand so we will use these for those jobs these won't be used um in the bathroom or anything like that so these are going to be sort of the food side of things so that they're nice and hygienic um, but they will be popped through the washing machine with the bedding and things that goes on a higher temperature uh, and our unpaper towels and things like that so they'll be nice and sort of sterilized in between uh, washes in between uses sorry throwing it away uh, so yeah I'm pretty happy with that if we look at it next to the sponge scour it's slightly um, larger but obviously it's quite a bit thinner but it has got something that you can grab onto um, and it seems like it should do the job quite well so we'll try these out for a bit see how they get on um, I mean it could be that the nylon bit comes frayed and comes away um, but we'll, we'll see how we get on with them but I'm pretty pleased with that for a first go so I'm going to do up the other four and I'll show you some pictures in a bit If you've enjoyed this video and you're interested in going plastic free having a zero waste home then make sure to check out the zero waste playlist on my channel which um, has got lots of different um, sewing DIYs and things like that for making reusable versions of disposable things around the home um, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so that I know more about which kind of videos people are enjoying and what to make. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! Thank you.